Hi, my name's Carol and this is Hummingbird Spot. Help, I've been eaten by a sword-billed hummingbird. <laughs> We're up very early in the morning. It's 5.30 now and we're, all, we're, and we're already on our way up to Yanacocha. Today is a big day for us because we're looking for the rare black-breasted pufflet. <laughs> We're up above the clouds now, day has broken, and I wanted you to see this beautiful view. The Cotacachi volcano is out there. You can see it, it's the highest peak out there with the snow. Beautiful, beautiful view above the clouds. It looks like clouds just lying in this beautiful landscape. This just takes my breath away. Here we are back at the Yanacocha Reserve. We've, I've already done a video at this place, but I didn't get my target bird at the time, so we're gonna give it another try. Wish me luck. Help, I've been eaten by a sword-billed hummingbird. <laughs> we're at the start of the trailhead to go up to the second set of feeders to hopefully find the puff leg we're looking for. If we don't find it there, we actually have an APB, an all pints bulletin out on people uh, to people who are in other areas. If they spot it, they'll call us. about to fly my drone over the Pichincha volcano so you can have really good views on this on this one so let's go Well, we made it to the second set of feeders and we're looking to see what's up here. There's golden breasted puff legs. We saw a, a sapphire vented puff leg and a um, great sapphire wing. There's my old friend, the great sapphire wing. You can find this guy in the Andes from Colombia down through Bolivia. And you can always count on spotting the beautiful shining sunbeams here at Yanacocha. 
you always want to observe these guys from the back so you can see exactly how it is they shine. I was told by somebody who had been up here that he saw the black-breasted puff leg in an area near these upper feeders, but we looked and we looked and we just did not see one now. We went on a hike on one of the upper higher trails to have a look to see if we could find one, but it looks like we were just out of luck for this bird here today. You know, these rare and critically endangered hummingbirds are difficult to find. I know somebody who says he's been up here like five or six times and he still has yet to find this bird. I'll keep trying though, and eventually you will see beautiful pictures and video of the endangered black-breasted puffleg. I promise you. Now it was time to leave Yanacocha and get to the Quito airport for our flight to the Pacific coast. Guayaquil, and this is what I'm used to. I see palm trees. I could be in Los Angeles. <laughs> this looks really nice. Let's go see what uh, this place has to offer in the way of hummingbirds. We drove up the coast for several hours to Ayampe, where we would stay at El Campito for the next few nights. Here is my lunch. Looks like plantains and rice and fish. Do you know what kind of fish this I is? I think it's sea bass. Sea bass. Oh, I love sea bass. After lunch, we headed out to Jardin Los Colibris to see what we could find, but the hummingbirds here were not cooperating either. One solitary rufous-tailed hummingbird, a very common bird throughout Central and South America, appeared very briefly to check out one of the feeders. We had high hopes for the next day though, because we heard of a possible Esmeraldus woodstar nest that we were going to check out. 